What's this? What's this? To get more attention than ugly people. But when did cosplay become more about being conventionally attractive than actually, I don't know, cut? Since day one, you know? I hate that term as well, conventionally attractive, as if, like, we all just come up with that and made it up and it's not just, like, you know, an innate attractiveness towards people who are attractive, you know? Like, we're just like, oh, actually, she's really pretty, but I'm going to decide that society's made me believe this is pretty. Now, I'm not saying that culturally there might be something there, but let's face it, you know? And, um, yeah, since day one, I think. Cosplay, if you go to any cosplay hashtag on this app, right. like, hashtag character name cosplay, if you go to any of those tags on this app, you will see a lot, if not all of, the same exact thing. You will always see white, big booba. skinny, conventionally big butts. attractive people. What she means there is big booba, big butts, thick as a bowl of oatmeal, looking good, right? Okay. At the top of... And, and there's, when, there's, when a lot of people say that about it, they're always white. It's like, what's well, because a lot of... White girls tend to do that a bit more, don't they? And there's a lot of Asian girls that do it as well. Every single cop. What a big fucking surprise. What does attractive mean? I think we all know what it doesn't mean. It's like you go and you look at gym physique. And exactly. I bet there's not going to be a single person on that fucking trending page that looks like I do. I bet not. What the fuck, man? Where's my representation? White. So I don't know what it's like to be a person of color. Well, how could you know that? Player on this app. However, I what does she even bring the race card into it anyway? She's white herself. It's just like, you're not as attractive as those girls. You probably could level yourself up if you were a little bit slimmer. Do you have to lose weight? No. But if you want to gain, I guess, traction in that sort of thing, then it's probably a given that you're going to need to do that. Uh, uh, just as Asman says, if you want to be... Uh, modeling for gym sharks, probably not a good idea to have a dad bod and looking like shit, you know? The more shredded you are and pumped you are, the more likely you are to get a gym shark uh, sponsor. Come on, man. I know that I am frustrated being a plus size trans cosplayer on this app because of the way that I have seen this app treat white, skinny, conventionally attractive cosplayers yeah and, and the reason why why are you so fucking surprised about this shit because right. yes and not even just that that and get keep using that term conventionally attractive is if she's like whoa duh look at me you know and like i'm not saying i'm not even judging the way she looks but it's like it's a given man what the fuck who's on TikTok looking for cosplayers? A bunch of little skinny white kids. A bunch of little skinny white boys trying to look as fuck. waifu. That's messed up. Also, frankly, a little boring. And if I'm frustrated, I can't even imagine how frustrated other people are. Like, like I cannot imagine. Nah, she trying to act like she's an advocate for people of color. Nah, nah. You're doing for real? This because, because you're pissed that you're not getting anywhere. Don't like your cosplay, and yep. now you're you're trying to get on their back. Yeah, using the 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 race the race card. I'm trans. It's just maybe that people are not really into your look regarding cosplay. You know, simple. Sometimes it's the most simple reason. It's not all of the isms and all of the cultural reasons and all of the, the patriarchy and, you know, and conventional attractiveness. It's maybe that just you haven't got the look that majority of people who are looking like, Asma says, for their next waifu. Let's face it, you know. And be like, oh, I'm doing this for... Could, imagine the next banner in Wuthering Waves. It's a plus-sized freaking, you know, trans... Not very attractive banner. Is it really going to sell that much? People of color. I think I'll leave that for you to answer. Bullshit. People of color cosplayers are because, like, of the of of how this app especially has turned cosplay into who's the skinniest, whitest, hottest femme, usually femme presenting person. The most popular cosplayers on this. Once again, though, that it's it going back to what I just said about narcissism. Why are you going to expect a bunch of straight teenage boys not to be looking for feminine, slim, attractive cosplayers? 
And lo and behold, maybe they're looking more along the, the white side of things because there's probably a lot of them being white, but Asian cosplayers do really as well, well as well because guess what? There's a lot of Asian weebs out there who really like to look at big titty waifus, you know? App in my brain, all of them are white, skinny, and conventionally attractive. All Damn. of them are. There is just more to cosplay than being hot. Uh, debatable. I'd say a large portion of it's definitely been hot. Now, there's some people who do some really cool cosplays and, you know, make some really cool outfits. But you can have a girl who can make some amazing and then some girl who can just put on a really bad outfit that really doesn't look like the character and she's super hot. Guess what's going to happen? Nah. <laughs> According to who? want to only cosplay because you want to be hot i don't care what you do with your life at all you do i can see that you don't you definitely do she doesn't guy if she doesn't care your views and your attention mean something on social media so are you gonna give it to a white skinny conventionally attractive cosplayer listen to that you know oh now I'm going to guilt trip you. You shouldn't be liking the things you like. You should like the things that I think are attractive because, come on, isms. What the fuck, guys? You're terrible bigots, man. How can you be attracted to some super attractive waifus, man? Fuck you doing, chat. It's crazy how anti-racist people... It took less than five minutes and now she's racist. That's crazy. <laughs> like it, that was so fast. She switched up on us real quick. Cause for a while, I thought that she was against racism. But thank God, no. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, body shaming. These is people bad. are crazy, By man. The way, don't give your attention to skinny people. I guarantee you, if I went and I made a TikTok saying, "Don't look at fat well, fatties players because right? they're fat and ugly," exactly. She'd be sitting there crying about it, saying, "I'm an asshole." But exactly. She does the exact fucking opposite, and somehow this is supposed to be brave. It's all right to use. It's all right to use skinny as a pejorative, isn't it? Like it's you know as some sort of negative, as some sort of like ooh, it's 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 culturally it's culturally what people want. Oh, uh, you know, all skinnies, man. It's like what the fuck? Or are you gonna give it to a cosplayer who maybe isn't white, maybe isn't skinny, maybe does their makeup in a way that isn't conventionally? Attractive? So what? You, basically, what she's saying there is like, don't you want to just go follow some ugly fat fucking cosplayers? <laughs> See how she goes, does her makeup in a way that isn't conventionally attractive? That's right, because it's not Shit. about them, it's about you, and it always was. As yep. long as you're having fun, that's truly all that matters. Well, it yeah. doesn't seem like that for her, because I don't know if she's not having fun, but she definitely is bitching about a lot of stuff that's got fuck all to do with having fun. Well, if that's all that matters, then why are you complaining about TikTok? Please. For real? This is the Stay safe and be respectful. Thank you. She just spent a video being totally disrespectful towards people she considers conventionally attractive and the people who are into the people who like conventionally attractive people. Like, what the fuck is this? By the way, don't follow people that are white and skinny. This Holy sort of stuff is a mental like illness nowadays. This is, this is embarrassing. It's so sad. Really people is. Like this, man. Like, I feel bad for them in a way, right? If they weren't so hateful, I'd feel bad for them. Exactly. It's straight up a mental illness, but you can't feel bad for them because they're just trashy pieces of shit, you know? There's only so far having, like, mental issues can get you. Because let's face it, lots of people suffer. But once you start becoming a trashy person, it's hard to feel sorry for you, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? When you're just going out there attacking... Like, man, there's there's some cosplayers out there now who probably thinking, shit, what did I do, man? Christ! Yeah, it, it's, my, it's my fault now that young lads and young men are attracted to what the way I look. Damn, man. What should I do? Start eating Wendy's every day. Holy shit, dude. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Fucking <laughs> you know. hell. Like, where is it your place to dictate to what people should be attracted to? You know. Like, we've gone from everybody can be what they want to be. Everybody can be attracted to what they want to be. Bro, if you're not attracted to what I consider you should be successful because I'm within this group, it's fucked up now. You should be attracted to this. And if you're not, then there's something wrong with you. Or you're pushing down the, the, the marginalized. So get the fuck out of here with that shit.